guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have the I Heart Spring Tag for you guys. I was tagged by my friend Yuki or Warm Vanilla Sugar here on YouTube. And I've seen a lot of other YouTubers do this tag, so I had to jump right on the bandwagon, obviously. I'm a little late with this just because um, spring is kind of almost nearing the end. I actually don't know. I don't know when summer starts. I just kind of assume summer starts in May, so that's next month, but I don't really know exactly when it starts. Anyways, we'll just pretend that spring just started and I'm doing the I Heart Spring tag then. Um, I just wanted to mention something before I get right into the tag video, and I got a few comments on my last video asking if I did something different with my hair, and if I had ombre it, and I actually sort of did. Um, I kind of dip dyed the ends, if you guys can see. I actually didn't even really dip dye it. What she did, basically, she just bleached out the ends, which is all I wanted her to do. She bleached it out, and then she put some, like, caramelly colored toner in it, and I just wanted something different with my hair. I got f about four inches cut off, and then I got, I suppose it's kind of like an ombre dip dye bleached ends type look. Okay, so with that being said, let's just jump right into the tag video. So the first question asks, what is your favorite spring nail polish? And of course I couldn't just choose one because that would be too easy. I had to choose two. So the first one is the Flower Beauty. This is the gorgeous Gerbera shade and you can get these polishes at Walmart. They're about $5.00. And this is just the most beautiful pastel peachy pink. And then the other one is from the new Zoya Spring Collection. And this one is called Blue. B-L-U. It's just called Blue. Um, it's just the most beautiful, like, chalky light blue color. It's beautiful. It's one of the prettiest light blues I have in my collection. I do have quite a few, but this one is almost, it's like a brighter blue than um, Essie's Borrowed in Blue. Um, though it is kind of similar, I suppose you don't need both, but I love the Zoya one. Question two is, what is your must-have lip color this spring? And my must-have is the Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade Flamingo Pose. It is the most beautiful, bright, corally pink. It's beautiful. It's bright. It makes a statement, i.e. the name color statement lipstick. Question three. Show us your favorite spring dress. So my favorite spring dress is actually the one that I'm wearing right now, so I will get up and show it to you guys. Okay, so from the top it looks like this, and it's got nice wide straps, which I actually really like. I prefer the wide straps over like spaghetti straps or anything like that. I don't know. I just really like it. And I love the print on this dress as well. It's just like a crazy, I don't know, red, purple, cream print. My favorite part of this dress has to be the bottom because it is a high-low hemline. So you have this really pretty kind of indigo colored lining here and it's shorter in the front and then of course it's longer towards the back. And so I absolutely love that um, high-low hemline on the dress. It's just a fun and flowy dress, so that's why I really love it. Question four is what is your favorite flower? And I actually don't have like a super favorite flower. I'm not a huge flower person to be honest with you, um, but one that I, every time I see them, I'm like, oh my gosh, those are so pretty. And they are orange colored roses. If you guys have seen them before, they're almost like I've seen roses that almost ombre from like an orange to like a hot pink and they are so so beautiful. Those are probably my favorite. Question five is favorite spring scarf or accessory and my favorite spring accessory are wrap bracelets. I brought a whole bunch out here to show you guys but I pull these out in the spring because that's when I wear, you know, short sleeve shirts or dresses and that's when bracelets, you can like see bracelets because obviously in the fall and winter when you're wearing long sleeves, you can't even see bracelets. These are two I got from, I believe, Francesca's um, and they look like this. They're just a stretchy um, brown bracelet with black beads and they have these little like rhinestones kind of thrown in every few beads and they're just really pretty. I have it in this black color and I also have it in this turquoise color. I wear these all the time. They're my favorite wrap bracelets. I also have a few from Target that I got a few springs ago. This one here is such a nice one. It's It feels like leathery material. It's probably not real leather because it is from Target but it's just really really nice. It's got two buttons here and it just wraps 
wraps around twice like that. And I also got this one from Target, which is another one of my favorites because it's got different um, embellishments on it. It's got some of these little spiky studs. It's got some little rhinestones. And then it's got some just plain metal studs on it. And it wraps around about three times on my wrist. And I love, love, love the way this looks. Question six, which spring trend are you most excited for? Makeup, fashion, or both? So, um, I don't know. As far as makeup trends, I guess it would just be bright lips. I love bright lips. I love bright, bold lips in the spring and summer, and I love bright, bold, smoky eyes in the fall and winter. So, I guess just bright, fun colored lips. As far as fashion goes, I love, love, love mint green. Mint green, I'm just obsessed with. I really, really want a mint green crossbody bag. If you guys know of one, either know of a designer that makes one or just know of one that you've seen, please, please, please let me know in the comments below because I'm definitely looking for a mint green crossbody bag. I also have a pair of mint green express jeans that I got. During the winter, they were having a sale, and I got them knowing that in the springtime I would be wearing those like no other, so I have been wearing those mint green jeans. I just love mint green in general. That's my favorite color, and I love how in the spring it comes back. Question seven is favorite spring candle, and I actually haven't gone candle shopping in a while. I haven't even walked into Bath and Body Works in a while. I know Market Peach is like all the rage here on YouTube, but I... Honestly, I've smelled it once, I think just passing by the store, but I haven't purchased it. One that I purchased, I think it was in the winter, but it's a spring scent to me. It's called Caribbean Escape, and this is uh, Cocktails and Coconuts. And I will read the bottom for you. It says, our specialty mix of creamy coconut milk, raw sugar cane, and a touch of sweet cassava. Shake, stir, and relax. It's half past cocktails. And to me... This just smells like sitting on the beach. It's got a nice coconutty scent. I honestly don't know if they have this candle anymore because it came out a while ago and I know Bath & Body Works kind of rotates through their collections often, but you may be able to find it on sale at this point and I love it. Question eight, favorite body spray or perfume for the spring? So I have one of both. My favorite perfume is the Jennifer Aniston perfume and I talked about this in my March favorites video which I just uploaded and I will put a link to that video in the description box below. and. I told you guys it kind of smells like beachy baby powder to me. You can go back in that video and see my exact super amazing description of it. And as for body spray, my favorite body spray, and I pull it out every spring. This is a brand new one that I pulled out for this spring. It is the Bath & Body Works Country Apple. And I've gone through probably throughout my lifetime, I've probably gone through at least three or four of these. These are just amazing. This is in the old packaging because I got it during a semi-annual sale. I don't think it's part of their permanent line anymore, but they bring it back every now and then. It just smells like straight up apple. It is so, like, this is one of those scents that I smell it and I remember being in, like, fifth grade and thinking I was so cool and spraying this all over me and going to school and being like, look, I'm wearing perfume, when really it was, like, Bath & Body Works Country Apple Body Spray, but I love this stuff. It just brings back so many memories and it's just a really good spring scent. Question nine, what is spring like where you live? So I live in Southern California, so we don't really have much of a spring. It kind of goes straight from like winter to summer. I get about a week of spring in between there. Question 10, what is your favorite thing about spring? And Honestly, I kind of just love a lot about spring. I love the colors, mint green and coral. They always come back during the springtime. Those are two of my all-time favorite colors, and I love wearing them. Um, like coral lips, I have coral jeans, I have coral in some tops that I have, um, even coral eyeshadow, mint green eyeshadow, mint green pants, mint green... I just... I love it all. Also, for that one week of spring that I do get, I really like the weather. Um, it's like perfect weather. Number 11, are you a spring cleaner? Um, not really. Um, I don't really, I don't think I clean any more during the spring time than I do any other time of the year. Whenever I need to clean stuff out, whenever I need to get rid of stuff, I just kind of do it all year round. And question 12, any plans for spring break or an upcoming vacation? So unfortunately, because I am filming this, kind of late in spring. Um, I already had my spring break. I actually went home and I got to see my family and my friends for the first time in months. So that was amazing. Um, but other than that, 
as for any upcoming things, not really. During the summer, I will probably have some things that I'm going to be doing. I think my family is planning on going to Hawaii over the summer. But as for anything in the foreseeable future, you know, like, oh yeah, this day and this day I'm going to be here. No, not really. I don't really have anywhere I'm going. So that is it. That is my I Heart Spring tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to do this tag video, I tag you guys to do it. Go ahead and do it. I'm not going to tag any specific people, but if you guys want to do it and leave it as a video response, please do. I would love to watch it. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.